Yo, yo, what is going on, guys? Ugly Stars, Nor Blitz Wolfie here today, bringing you a Warframe video. And today, we're going to be talking about a Mirage build. So, let's get right into it here. And we have our first aura here, which is Energy Siphon. Then we have Hall of Mirrors, Slide of Hand, Eclipse, and Prism. Those are your four moves. So, Hall of Mirrors, Eclipse, Prism are your best three moves. And then, Slide of Hand is probably your worst move in your entire pack. Redirection for them shields, but um, I more recommend Vitality. I have Intensify in here. You could drop in a Rage if you put in the Vitality. Then we have Streamline and Flow for energy efficiency. Um, continuity. Mm, this is a bit ifish, but uh, you could put this in here. You can use it to bring up the duration on Hall of Mirrors as well as Eclipse and Prism, maybe, if you want a longer lasting Prism. Then we have Blind Rage. Blind Rage increases the power strength for Prism, Eclipse, and Hall of Mirrors. Now it does nothing for Sleight of Hand, which is your only I util move. You, Operator. I thought you wanted okay, so another great build is if you take out probably um, Continuity and put in Narrow Minded. Now Narrow Minded screws up the range on your Prism with your Blinding Range. But the rest of uh, power duration is pretty good for Hall of Mirrors as well as uh, Eclipse. I don't think you want too much duration on your Prism because that's going to be all over the place. You want your Prism to end as quickly as possible. So, yeah, you could probably do that. And then you have the Glass Cannon approach, which is taking continuity out put in um, fleeting expertise and then you put in from instead of having blind rage you put in narrow minded you probably could put in narrow minded in this sleight of hand slot instead of uh, taking out blind rage and that would give you not only an extra strength boost but also great range but you'll just decrease it a little bit but it's still great and it's going to be great for using as a glass cannon. You'll still have that rate, um, power duration for your Eclipse. And you'll still have your power duration and strength for your Hall of Mirrors. Now, it's just going to screw up your range, which is fine. I mean, this thing already has a great blinding range. It's probably as good as Excalibur's uh, Radio Blind range, which is pretty good. And with the extra duration, you can blind them for even longer and just run around the entire map and kill them all. Alright, so I'm going to be showing you some gameplay of this build right here. It's probably not the best build, but it's going to have to do. Alright guys, I'll be right back.
as you can see from the gameplay video guys that the even with blind rage on and that negative uh, power efficiency that prism was still doing a damn good job thanks to streamline and continuity helped out with hall of mirrors as well as eclipse and prism and blind rage also helped out with hall of mirrors eclipse and prism also did you see when the uh, hall of mirrors was activated that the chargers were trying to attack my clones instead of myself so this is a great um decoyed like move kind of like what loki has except uh, with mirage she doesn't have a uh, radial disarm or switch teleport and then with eclipse you saw that i had a damage buff with my soma so it got more criticals and even more uh, kills with it and with Hall of Mirrors plus Eclipse with the Soma, it was a total nightmare for those infested. They got dominated. Alright guys, if this video did help you out, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you're new to the channel, like, comment, and subscribe. Any constructive criticism always helps me out. And I'll see you guys in my future videos. Alright guys, until next time, peace.